You're very welcome to the deep end. Oh, thanks. We're Thank going you. To talk about kind of you. North Channel sure. and all the adventures that come with it. Yeah, yeah. Jelly oh, babies and all. all. Adam? Jelly babies and all. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sir. Thanks, thanks for your time. Um, oh, and, and we were ple it's an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Um, yeah, we. We got to chat before your swim, which was great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, tell us a wee bit about making the decision for the, to, to take on the North Channel and and how that uh, panned out for you and, and, and what your training and things like that was and what was your experiences along the way? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I had got years of um, training for the English Channel. Um, and to be honest, I had never even considered the North Channel at that time. It wasn't until I'd finished the English Channel, which was in 2020, um, that I started thinking, well, what was next? And actually, probably what made the decision quite easy was was COVID and all the travel restrictions that were in place for sort of the, um, the like the international um, swims and trips. Um, so I started looking a little bit closer to home and. I'd heard about the North Channel and I made a few inquiries and kind of thought it looked looked a bit of fun, really. Yeah. And when I first contacted Jacqueline, I think that was 21, maybe, yeah. I think. And in my head, I thought to myself, well, 22 is bound to be fully booked. 23 is probably a bit patchy. 24, that's fine. That's plenty of time away to get myself together and sorted out and, and Jacqueline came back and said oh they had uh you had the week at the beginning of August and there was a a, a number one slot and that was a bit of a <laughs> what shall I do <laughs> um chatted to my friends and, and my family and you know it was a kind of well what are you waiting for really and uh get it booked which is what I did um I was nervous I, I'll be honest you know I hadn't actually I hadn't challenged myself terribly much at that time in the really cold temperatures, particularly for longer distances. And I think I'm probably the sort of person who would probably, one of my plan was to do the, to have a go at the qualifier first. If I could do that, then I thought maybe I'd be in with a chance, but um, the opportunity came up and I thought, well, well what's the worst that'll happen? You know, it was, uh, it was, it was sort of meant to be, I think. Um, and then in that that winter, then was was sort of serious training, you know, longer distances in the cold, um, dragging my poor husband Dave to the beach often, um, and and just getting on with it. And once I sort of got through to the spring, that was when I suppose the longer distances um, really came in. And I found a Lido, which is not that far away from me, who were they were doing winter swimming, winter lane swimming. And I asked them if I could do, you know, reasonably long distances and try and build up. And I think they were a little nervous to start with because they said, oh, you know, we only recommend sort of 10 to 20 minutes at these temperatures. And I said, you know, I've got to get up to six hours. And I think they thought I was some kind of lunatic, really, turning up. But um, nevertheless, they were very kind and let me swim there. Um, and I ended up with a lane more or less to myself. And uh, I spent quite a few hours there. Um, and then, of course, um, probably April time, I think it was, I did the qualifying swim. And I think in the whole journey, that was the hardest swim of all of it. Um, that was really tough. Um, and it was really, I had quite a nice day. You know, the sun was was sort of there and, and the sea was relatively calm. Um, but I was I was quite cold and swimming along thinking what the hell have I done you know what is this what am I doing with myself here and and the thing that kept me going really was in my head I kept saying to myself if, if you get out now you've got to get in and start again so every kind of 10 minutes that were going past I thought actually you know that's 10 minutes closer to where I need to be and and eventually of course you know the six hours goes past and and it's a tick in the box and uh, but I think overall that was the toughest 
the toughest swim. That was when I had, did have a few tears in my goggles, I must admit, um, swimming along, shivering and uh, questioning my life choices at that point. <laughs> what, what was your uh, sort of average week distance or time in the water? Um, I, I do pool swimming, you know, indoor pool swimming um uh, most days certainly then I was probably not so much at this minute but um most days maybe you know a, at least an hour sometimes two hours pool swimming um winter swimming it tends to be shorter dips but but training for the north channel was very much I started off um at the Lido I started off with an hour and then built that up to sort of three and four hours um as much as time as they could give me but that was sort of once a week at the weekends so the rest of the time in the winter was in the um in the pool um but yeah most days i would say uh, at that time and then of course once the sea gets warmer then at the weekends um down at the beach for well up to six seven hours um on those weekends yeah um you, did you have a coach to sort Not, of um, guide, guide you? well not really, not what you'd call a sort of hands-on coach. I suppose I've I've always been a swimmer, so I've I've swum competitively as a child. Um, gave up many many moons ago and sort of dithered about a bit for a good few years. Um, and then I swam. I got back into swimming pretty much as a kind of give myself something to do. Really, get a bit fitter and. and some me time really and that was very much by myself really and then I ended up meeting loads and loads of people uh, met a few people to swim with in the mornings um in ten terms of coaching um not really um I've met the I swim with the Durley group down on the south coast here um and they're just full of advice and good tips and hints and um plans if you like rather than coaching um these days I swim for for the masters the local masters um team but uh they're they're way faster than me you know they're, they're sprinters really fast sprinters and I'm kind of plodding along um hours after hours really <laughs> but, uh, yeah so not no I wouldn't say I had a coach but I had lots of lots of good people offering lots of advice and lots of support and and you know just just mixing with people who've been there and done it, you know, it's um, it's invaluable, really, the advice and the, the information yeah. they can share. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to ask about your feeding on the actual day. Uh, what did you feed yeah. on? Uh, it was, oh gosh, it used to be called CMP, but I think they, they stopped making that, but it's like a, like a carb powder. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what it was called actually. Bulk, maybe. Um, I had that and you know, just jellies, jelly babies, like um Jack said. Um Rosia. Rice pudding. <laughs> yes, rice pudding. Um, I think I had some peaches, peaches in syrup. And um, the only thing I it didn't work, which I it was obvious now looking back, but it didn't work, was I, I quite like Jaffa cakes swimming because they're quite easy to to get down and quite light but I found in the north channel the chocolate didn't melt no. so it was like stuck on my teeth for the first well for the next sort of 45 minutes to an hour till I had the next warm drink <laughs> which was really annoying but um and I think flapjacks I did try but I can't chew them and get them down quick enough they take a long time I think to yeah um to chew and uh and get down I prefer something as quick and easy and and go um so you mentioned their hot feed so you take it you, yep. you had your, yeah and on your english channel did you have have hot feet yeah well yes and no i um i made a mistake on the english channel of thinking i was very well organized and made up all the feeds before we went um but i had made them for what i didn't do which is what i did on north channel was made them to double strength so that the crew can then top it up with hot water and a splash of squash. In the English channel, I made them up ready to go. So there was no room without diluting them or adding more powder to put the warm water in. Yeah. But I have to say, I was blessed with the the most roasting hot day for my English channel. So it didn't really matter, to be honest. The, the water wasn't, it wasn't cold uh, in the feeds anyway. So um, it didn't yeah. matter. But yeah, definitely in the North Channel, I had um hot feeds 
you had uh, 15.9 degrees in the North Channel. You had a roasting hot day on the North Channel too. <laughs> it wasn't bad, was it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't complain. <laughs> um, in terms of medication, uh, antihistamines. Uh, yes. Um, so again, I was, I kind of, I probably was a bit naive and I don't take medication for anything. I've never had a bad reaction to anything. I'm never sick in the water. On the boat, completely different story, but in the water, never have any problems. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I met obviously Alessandra and Tracy while I was there, and um, Tracy gave me some advice and just said, take the antihistamines just, you know, for the first, I don't know, one a day for the three days or so before the swim, just to build up a bit of resistance potentially, which I did and was fine. I don't know if that made any difference. It might have done, um, but uh, yeah. So one of one of those, you know, the cheap ones you get in the supermarkets, and uh, just one a day. Did you get uh, stung by any jellyfish? Yes. Yes. Badly yes. or just? Uh, uh, I wouldn't say. I'd say to the point they hurt, but not to the point that I was. I wasn't crying or anything with them. They're not. They. I didn't see anything or feel anything that was significant enough to stop my swim. Yeah. Um. They do hurt, and, and there's no getting away from them, I, I don't think. It's one of those things you, I think you just have to grin and bear. Yeah. Um, 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 it was the one thing I said to Harry when he came, you know, if, if there's, I said to him before we went, I'm not getting out. I won't be getting out for any other reason than if you are seriously concerned with my health. And I, I didn't know whether the jellyfish might give me a, an adverse reaction, but thankfully they didn't. But yeah. I appreciate they can be a bit troublesome. I think that's one thing as well. People don't know how you're going to react to them until you've been yeah. stung for several yeah. hours by them. You know, and yeah. That's... yeah. And it's hard to do anything about that, isn't it? Unless oh. you perhaps go and get yourself stung beforehand and see how it goes. But, um, yeah. You know, maybe that's possible. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It was okay. I mean, the first time I got stung, I thought, you know, I was, I was swimming along thinking, well, I don't know this could be the end maybe I don't know what's going to happen and then I was just swimming thinking well actually I feel fine it's a bit sore but I think it was okay so yeah and, and of course Milo keeping keeping what you know he keeps them out of the way so yeah and a few jelly baby short in your feed pack maybe <laughs> Milo <laughs> <had it. laughs> um, honestly I had enough feed for and food for, for, for days, I'm sure, for multiple well, people. There was so not much only of that, it. but uh, you and Harry were well fed in uh, some of oh the my. fanciest hotels in County Down while you were here. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We stumbled, We went. It was Pier 36 is where we stayed, I think, three nights with there. And it was really nice there, like, you know, really welcoming, friendly. But the food was really good. And yeah. then we went to a really posh hotel. It was kind yeah. of like, well, what do you think of this, Harry? And it was like, oh, yeah, that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Which was lovely. Like, like, pizza, curry and rice any day. Huh? <laughs> you were in the, not the Collard and the... Um, okay, um, you know, Clan de Boy, Clan, Clan de Boy yeah. Lodge. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it was, yes, very, it was nice. very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, on... Yeah, we, we, got, we got to meet up with you before your swim, which was fantastic. Yes, um, yes. My sense straight away was that you were, you know, uh, I'm not say afraid, but, uh, you know, you were hesitant about the whole thing or, you know, and that's what I felt. Now, that's probably not where, where you were. I, but... I think probably, I probably... I'm always a bit of a worrier and I'll always be someone, I, I never turn up to these things thinking, yeah, I'll be fine. It, you know, it's just like, oh my God, this is, I've bitten off more than I can chew here. Yeah. You apprehensive know, can I do this? Yeah, that's probably the right word. Yeah. yeah. Pardon? You were apprehensive of, of oh, yeah. we've yeah. good, I know what's going to happen. You had, you know, Harry with you. It was just yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, which, and that's, which a, that's a good thing. Well, yes, it was. Um, I think it, it was also... Um, it was also a bit of an unknown with Harry because he hadn't ever crewed before. And, and I know most people will say, well, that's a risk in itself. And yes, I agree. I agree it was. Um, he wanted to come and I wanted to give him a, a sort of an opportunity to do it. Um, so it worked out well, but it probably wasn't. It probably wasn't what you'd say is the perfect kind of textbook 
um set up so yeah I was I was apprehensive and I was I in my head I'd built this thing up to be almost like ice swimming and and I was thinking you know have I done enough have I swam in the cold enough am I gonna be okay are these jellyfish gonna are they gonna kill me is there gonna be problems you know this sort of stuff is going through your head but actually I, I'll I'll never be able to thank you really for all your support and encouragement along the way because it, it's 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 so nice that you that you make the effort to to welcome us there and and help put us at ease and it was really really kind of you and uh, yeah. I appreciate that that's it's it can't be convenient for you to do that uh, I'm sure you go out of your way to do that no no that's part of very it. Kind. yeah I think it's important for us um we keep on going when my analogy of it is that each swims a jigsaw. And we need to mm. try to get as many pieces to fit into the, the puzzle. Mm. And mm. the puzzle is the swim and the swimmer. You know, mm. so by meeting you, we get a good feeling about how you're going to work, how you're going to swim, yeah. how, what you're yeah. going to be like, and then match you up with a boat, match you up with different types of people, different yeah. types of pilot to suit your type of swimming, and try yeah. to have a solid approach to it as a team, um, which we're blessed to have so many different types of crew and people and, yeah. and boats yeah. that can afford to do that, which is brilliant. Um, yeah. So I, I, I probably went into, not, not that I was your pilot, but I was, I'm not say concerned, but, uh, you know, I think your apprehensiveness sort of fed into me a wee bit and we, we put a, put a plan together and it turned out that you were solid in the water that you, once your, I get in, it's almost as soon as I'm in the water, I'm fine. Yeah. It's all yeah. the other stuff that goes on around that gets in my head way too much, and it and I'm that that's kind of how I am really. But um, yeah. so it, the, yeah, I on the on the day then we had, we are constantly communicating between different boats either on the radio or or, or on mobiles if it's has to be private. But the feedback Milo give us a thumbs up. This girl is no problem. Oh, and oh, lovely. It, it was brilliant it was, to, to get that because. Uh, yeah, you want everyone to succeed and get, get the best. Uh... Of course, of course, yeah, of course. And and as I say, once once I'm in the water, it's you know there, there's no way I'm getting out once I'm yeah. in. It's it's the it's the getting to the point of getting in that, that I have a lot of self doubt in my my own self really, and and that's a, that's a that's a thing for me to to work on. But um, as I say, once I'm in the in the water, I you know that's there is no way I was going to give up on that on that. Sarah, you wore a beautiful yellow hat. It has meant a lot to you because it has turned up in lots of other swims. And oh, I love it! I um, and, yeah, um, I didn't actually wear it on the day. I had, a, I think, I had a pink hat on the day. Oh. I'm oh, again. I'm a bit of um. I I can't wear the hat unless I've done the thing. Oh, you know, I'm, either or. It's, That's yeah, it's I'm like doing. you know, I can only. I can only have the bragging rights after I've done it, but I wear it all the time. I actually wore the blue one last night training. So, uh, so is, there, is there a meaning behind the beyond your limits for you? Um, yeah, I, I think I think there's a lot. I, I'm guilty of this, and certainly in my life, I think I think people have perhaps dreams, maybe desires to do things, and I think it's easy to put stuff in your way isn't it it's easy to come up with well I can't do it because of this or that or maybe I'm not good enough fast enough or whatever but I think actually if you can perhaps get to a point where you've got the courage to give it a shot you probably can go beyond your limits and I believe most people probably can go beyond what they think are their limits it's having the it's having the determination the courage I think to start but then something in you not to not give up as well once you're there and and going and it's I think it's it's something you have to want more than you don't because I, I think there are times I, I'm sure it's for, for lots of you know endurance sports and, and events and things like that that there's a lot of times when you're training or, or tired or whatever's going on it, it's it's a lot easier to say actually doesn't really matter does it nobody cares really whether you do it or you don't except yourself perhaps and those closest to you but um I think people have perceived limits and maybe maybe everybody's got it in them to 
see if you can go beyond them. And I think most people can if they give it a go. Um, I think that's a very yeah. honest reflection on, on it for, for mm. me to look from the outside, uh, from the outside to, towards you and your swim. I think that what you've just said is very honest and true, you mm. know. Um, yeah, and I'm sure you'll inspire a lot of uh, a lot of other people to to push it a wee bit further or dream mm -hmm. outside their their bubble type of thing. Which yeah, just good. I hope so. I hope so. But but equally, lots of people have inspired me as well. It's like a, a sort of never ending journey, isn't it? Of people that you yeah. you watch and you think, well, actually, you know, Lucy um, Ashdown Parks is someone I've I've swum, you know, sort of cross paths a bit with and. Um, you know, I sometimes see her and I think, well, you know, maybe, maybe I can do it. You know, I'm pretty much the same sort of pace as her when we swim. Yeah. Um, and, and there's lots of people, isn't there, along the way that you think, well, they've managed to overcome something or they've done it. And um, that inspires me to go. And then hopefully other people feel the same way. So, uh, good luck, mother. Thank you. So, tell, us, tell us a wee bit about your um, the actual day of your swim and how it went for you in mentally and physically and yeah the you were running through and things like that. I mean, mentally, I think I was I was terrified to start with when we got on the boat. I was thinking, I, I don't even know what I'm doing here. You know, am I anywhere near good enough for this? I simply don't know. Um, Harry, of course, is totally yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it. You know, he's out for the day and he's got his picnic and everything with him and. That's good. Um, the start was, I, 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 I was sort of blown away by the kindness of the Chunky Dunkers who were there. Yeah. Um, so kind. I, I can't, I can't thank them enough to say, you know, to, for someone to get up early and turn up at a, at a beach really, or some rocks for somebody else that they don't really know. They you know there's no, I, I'd only met them a couple of days before and, um, for them to do that was amazing and all the support from obviously Alessandra and Callum on the same day um, and, and all of you, you know, you, you mentioned it earlier about the, the, the team spirit and I really felt like I was part of that that team rather than just someone who turned up to do a swim. Um, and you had so, a daylight so that, start, which was... Which a was daylight cool. start. I know, magnificent. I can't, I, I can't believe how lucky I was with that. Um, and then once I got in the water, as I say, as soon as I'm in, I'm fine. It was just yeah. kind of, you know, navigating to the to the rocks, and and off I went. And and really, I'd say the first few hours kind of flew by. Really, it was, you know, once once you once I get going with these things, I'm quite okay to like, you know, see you in an hour, come back in for a feed, absolutely fine. Um, and I was trying to kind of gauge the time and how long I'd been out there and, and all of that stuff goes through your head. And um, I didn't see much, not much going on to, to, to kind of, you know, there was a part of a fish, not much, but there was a seal um, somewhere close. There's a video of a seal behind us. Um, so mentally, it's just, I, I'm kind of okay once I get going and just, just keep going you know I, I, I don't get anxious about where I am or, or worry about how long it is it's, it's kind of how long it takes and, and I'm fine once I'm in the water um physically I was fine I had obviously some stings that were a bit sore um I started getting cramp in my leg which I've never had before and I don't know if that was the stings or the cold or what I don't know I simply don't know and, and it was fine I'm telling you you had to kick more towards the end anyway <laughs> well probably <laughs> yeah, I don't do much kicking normally no no right. speed up speed up work um uh, well Sarah I know there's one thing that you will always remember and uh between our pilots um it is called Port Patrick uh some weeks it's oh, Port Bobby some weeks it's called Port Podrick. Um, thankfully, on on my journey this year, it had a few reasons to be called Port yes. Clean. So lucky me. Um, yes. For you, you landed on the beach in Port Patrick. I know. In the air. I know. I, proudest I, I, 
I know. I, I was I was um, talking to someone last night actually um, about it. A lady called Jo. She's coming over this year, I believe. Yes. Um, we were chatting, and I said to her, you know, I was the, the whole swim in my head. I thought you know, I'm going to land on some rocks at some point, and I don't know whether I just going to. Am I going to have to touch the rocks? Am I going to have to clamber out the rocks? Is it going to be dark? And all that stuff's going through my head. Oh. Um, and as we're swimming along, yeah, at one point they were they were saying on the boat when when they say it's your last feed, I was like, whoa, this is good. And as we as we were getting, I could see land, and they was you know I sort of saw the lighthouse in in the sort of distance, and they said you know eight hundred meters to go, and I was like swimming and swimming and swimming, and I thought it's good. I'm nearly here. I'm not. I've got this really. And then there's, I saw this wall ahead of me and I couldn't quite make out what the wall was. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just have to touch the wall. But I thought, no, it doesn't matter. Someone will tell me as I get there what, what I have to do. But then then the sort of landscape starts changing a bit. And, and I started seeing bits of seaweed. And then there was a bit of sort of murkier water where the sand was coming up from the bottom. And as I'm swimming along, I'm thinking there's actually sand underneath me here somehow. I don't, I don't, couldn't, couldn't quite work out where the sand was kind of coming from. And the closer I'm getting, I'm thinking it's actually a beach. I'm going to land on a beach. I hadn't, I didn't even appreciate there was a beach there. <laughs> and, but it's not until I've watched the videos back that I had any concept of how, how brilliant it was swimming into that harbour. It was absolutely yeah. incredible, really. I'm, I, I couldn't believe my luck really I, I once I'd appreciated quite what had gone on yeah. um but yeah yeah amazing yeah really and that's cool. very often that you're you're immersed in the swim and what we we see is when you look back at your footage or you read back on some of the things that happened yeah. sort of rehearse them the joy you can see you're retelling that story just in in your eyes yeah. the joy of what yeah. happened for you so I know and um, yeah, I, we're going to go back, Harry and I, at some point to Port Patrick and have a look at it from from the other side. Yeah, um, there's, a, uh, there's a video. Great pubs there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I think I think were you on Callum's boat, Jacqueline? Because there's yes, a video. Both of us were with Callum. Yes. Yes, I remember you take. So I had no no appreciate. I was totally focused on my boat and this wall that I was swimming towards, and I thought just got to keep going, keep an eye on it, and. Having now watched back the video that I think it was you, Jacqueline, that took from Callum's boat, I had no realization that was that was literally just a sign. <laughs> I'd have given you away if I'd have known. Uh, well, yes, and that's why I knew so much about the jelly babies because Milo was throwing jelly babies from your boat to ours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely oblivious to all that going on. Yeah. I just my head good. down, keep that's going. Good, keep to going. Share. good to share. Good to share. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Yeah, really cool. Fantastic. Um, we're asking all our swimmers one particular question. Uh, now that you've succeeded in uh, this adventure, uh, what is the one piece of advice you would give yourself before you started this journey? That you're better than you think, really. I think your brain is the thing that can let you down more than the physical side of it. I think if I could say to myself, and I do try to say this, that actually trust the training. You know, you've done this. You're not you're not a novice at this stuff, but the gremlins do creep in. And and for me, it would be to to trust yourself and and think, give yourself the credit for being perhaps better than than you think you are. I think it's easy to put yourself down and talk yourself out of things rather than going. Well, actually, you know, I'm sure I could do it. Yeah. yeah yeah that would that would be for me that's myself mm. where where is your next adventure going to be um well i'm doing some cold water swimming next weekend that's in sheffield the next trip is over to see you guys i'm coming to hit the wall in may fantastic oh uh, yeah looking forward to that um i'm going to windermere with a friend of mine in the summer um but uh yeah I, I probably do need i think i've probably got one more big swim in me and i need to decide where where to do that but, uh, yeah. i haven't booked anything yet no just you're, you're still on the journey yeah yeah i love it yeah sir thank you so much for your time um, oh pleasure absolute pleasure thanks for yeah. asking yeah. I, uh, yeah say hi to harry yeah 
Oh, oh Will, he's in, um, he's in Southeast Asia at the moment. They've gone traveling, him and his brother. So, uh, Fantastic. very, very quiet think, here. I think it was just, I think it was a brilliant uh, thing for Harry to see his mother succeeding in this. You know, I'm sure he was so, so proud of you. You know, I know he's a young yeah. gay and macho and, you know, the typical, yeah. you know, which is grand, but for him yeah. to see, to be first. I half, hope so. you know, yeah, I think so. I think I think he was, you know, I could chatting to him a few times. Um and yeah, it was nice mm. to be part of that. And we're going mm. come back for the awards as well. He's like, Yeah, I'm coming too. So yeah. maybe it's just the, the, the crack and the, the, the good Irish drink, but uh <laughs> Yeah, he absolutely loved there. it actually. He he really enjoyed, I think he enjoyed it more than he thought he was going to. Yeah. Um but yeah, I we, we had a lovely Really lovely time together, and actually coming back as well for the awards was was great fun. Yeah, so, yeah, really good. Sarah, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, absolute pleasure. Nice to see you both. And yeah. you. Until May, we'll see you at the wall. See you in May. Yeah. yeah look Looking forward to it. Yeah. See you in May. Take it easy. Thank you, you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.